right, part two. Okay, so we're still on this one. I didn't read it all. I'm deciding if I should read it all. Okay, yeah, I'll read it. Dear Emily, thank you for everything that you have done for me, helping me, willing to put up with me, and most of all, loving me. Love his name. He signed everything with his name, but I don't have his permission to say it, so. This was my Holly Ball little whatever it's called, and it just has everybody's name in the dance that I danced with them. Yeah. <laughs> You've already seen my friend Charlie, so I think I can show him. But that's my math class. I recently got rid of two members. Well, for this year. Because I didn't make the cut. Our math class is the highest math class in our whole school. We've been to math competitions, which this was the first year that we ever went to math competitions. We didn't win any math competitions, but we did get like a trophy thing and like certificates and whatever. And uh, I can't say his name. He's a YouTube channel. I'll put his YouTube channel in the link below. I'll write it on the screen. I can say, I, I, if he has, I, Jake, he won a thing. I can't remember what it was. Okay, this was a card that my first ever boyfriend got me for my birthday, and it made me cry. <coughs> it's really sweet. It still is really sweet, even though the feelings are gone. Every time I think about you, I can't help, I'm just going to read the whole thing. Because he didn't, like, write any of it. It was the card. He just wrote, happy birthday, and then from. I can't help but imagine what a very different place my world would be today without the gift of your love. That's why I'm wishing you a happy birthday. That's just the beginning of a bright new year filled with hopes, dreams, and many wonderful moments together. Happy birthday. We broke up shortly after my birthday. <sighs> Memories coming back. Who was this from? Oh, this is the decoder thingamajiggy from a friend who likes to write me secret notes. She is a she. This is also, whoop, no, okay, it says from your secret admirer. This is a card that she gave me for Valentine's Day. She gave all the girls this thing. Because she was trying to do something nice for everybody. Everybody figured it out. And then she basically lied to us about it. You know. So I don't really trust her that much anymore. But it's okay. Well, can't show you my address. But this is from. Actually, who is this? This is from one of my good friends. I don't have permission to say her name either. But she was basically just saying, How's your summer going? She's on my brother at my school since my mom did like a class thing there. She got stung by a bee. And then tell me about your summer so far. This was 629.19. That's when that was. The card is really cute. I can show you that. It just says hello. It's a cute card. That's a really small card. That's that. Oh. This is such a bad picture, I don't think I could show you. So, my grandma on my dad's side used to be a dentist. So we would send her pictures anytime we lost our teeth. And she'd give us like, uh, $2 or something. Don't judge me. Okay, <laughs> that's all you get at that. Uh, it just says, congratulations, you lost another tooth, and we are proud of you. Because, believe it or not, it hurts when you lose molars. Believe it or not. Oh, I thought this card was really sweet. That's why I saved it. It's from my grandmother. I think it was a Christmas card. Dear Emily, everything about you is angel on top of the tree beautiful. I thought it was sweet, so I kept it. This one is a long one, but it's also really sweet. It was from the same grandma. Right? No. Different grandma. Gra no. 
Different grandma. I'm about out of battery, so I gotta talk fast. Your sunshine and happiness, laughter and love, you're everything special and good. You've brought the whole family a world, can't read, world full of joy in ways that nobody else could. Emily, you are a wonderful granddaughter and your birthday is the perfect time to tell you how special you are and how loved you'll always be. This was 2019. So was the uh, last card. Oh, this is my cotillion invitation, I think. Oh, can't open it. This is a picture of me that my same friend who liked to send me decoded notes drew of me. I don't have any uh, pupils in my eyes. Oh, pros and cons list of the guy that I like right now. Uh, the rest of this stuff is just the basic memories, except for one thing that I really want to show y'all. Snakeskin from my first ever boyfriend. He is a snake. His name is Yeti. I don't know why you would name a snake that. But snakes! I love snakes so much. Mm. Thank you. Oh, this was from a friend of mine. Thank you for being so nice to me. Because I wrote him a letter too when he was feeling upset. Birthday card. Birthday card. Who was this from? I don't know. I hate how I tuck the flap into it so that I can't ever open it. No, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. It says, thank you very much. Thank you for coming to my party. Oh, okay. It was just, and I kept it because that was sweet. Okay, okay. I don't want this one to be super long because this is a part two. Okay, I'll read that. I'll read, I'll read that. What is this from? It's a Christmas card. Oh, from my grandma. Dear Emily, for dreaming, for magic, for cheer. I don't know why I kept this one, but uh, I did. So I have it. Coolio. I only usually keep things that mean a lot to me and I just think are really sweet. Where is it? Where, where, where? Where's my card from the guy that I like right now? Is that? What, why, what, what, why, 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 why did I keep this? Why? Oh! This is a little donut with the heart on it. It's from one of my teachers. This is from one of my friends. It's just Happy Valentine's Day card. Alright, cute. I don't know from what year this was, but I think it was 2019. Okay, we'll do this one. We'll read this. Enthusiasm is the great asset in the world. It beats money, power, and I don't want that. I'm going to recycle that. Another Christmas card. It's the, the same, like, type of... Alright. Cool. I'm very grateful for all this. I also kept the hat from the first and only time I've ever been to a Waffle House. I was so sick that I just got a juice box. I didn't truly get to experience the Waffle House. But, that's okay. I'll never go back again. But, that's okay, too. We're just setting everything back. Duh. So, that was just a taste in how my first ever relationship was. It was pretty nice. And halfway through, I got a phone. So, it's not like the whole time we were just waiting to send each other letters when we got back to school. And it technically wasn't my phone. It was like a phone that my mom could take away at any moment. Like she was like, this is my phone. And I'm giving it to you so that you don't have to keep using my phone to talk to him. And if I have the power to take it away whenever I want to. And I was like, all right, sounds cool. 
And I'm a pretty good kid, so she never took it away. I don't think I've ever had my phone taken away. Ever. So that's pretty cool. Snake skin. Oh, I don't know where to put it now. I messed up the order of things, of everything. I messed it up. Duh, aren't you happy? So yeah, that's that. Thank you all very much for watching. I know that I didn't say it in the last video, but I'm saying it for both videos because it's like two parts. Um, like if you want to, subscribe if you want to. See y'all later. Bye.